I'm gonna put a little bit of spray right there, right there. My little first one right there too. Oh no, no brakes. Oh yeah. We ain't got no master cylinder on it. <laughs> Let's see if this thing even start back up again. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can get this master cylinder on here. kind of truck parts in your truck it's fine all right so we got us a new master cylinder this is the old master cylinder don't let it don't let it fool you <laughs> this is the this is the old one this is the new one i did take the uh uh old cap off of this one and put it on here and i did take some some vinegar to this one just to rust it up a little bit make it look like a like it's meant to be on this car uh got my little pieces here to bleed out the master cylinder we got some brake fluid got a little socket and a ratchet these bolts here or nuts here actually Stud, studs sticking out there pretty rusty we got to get them to where they'll screw in there without breaking the studs off the firewall definitely don't need that to, that done so sprayed them already sprayed them down pretty good that one fitting is loose. I gotta get this one loose. It was loose, but she's locked up. Man, yeah, ain't too bad now. There we go. The PB blaster works pretty good. Yeah, that'll work. Pretty much what we're gonna do. We get these where I can screw it on there. Then we'll bleed out the master cylinder, put it on there, see what kind of brake pedal we get without bleeding the brakes, and then we'll we'll go back later and uh, bleed all four corners. So. Let's get after it. Everybody in the mama's coming down the road. One hour later. All right, so. I run these bolts in and out, kept putting a little bit of looby dooby on there and uh, got them chased in there good enough where I can uh, screw the master cylinder on there without breaking anything. And I uh, got this one freed up real good too and this one's already freed up there. So tell you what we got going on over here. All right, so what you can tell, this is an old master cylinder, this is a new one. But we are using the old cap just to make it look, just to make it look old because Everything on the car looks old. So I'm gonna put these two things in here. See if we can bleed it right here on the truck bed. Hopefully I won't have to carry it over to the buzzer shack and bench bleed it. But I'm hoping I can bleed it. And I've had this master cylinder for, I don't know, seven, eight years. So I'm hoping it's still good. <laughs> I'm hoping I don't have to buy another one, but more than likely it'll be all right. She still looks pretty good and clean on the inside. So. Let's uh, let's see if we can get it bent. Uh, well, not bent blade. Let's we'll see if we can get it bled out. Stick it on here and see if we get a pedal. All right, so pretty much getting getting real close. Which I got it rammed up in here, and all I'm doing is pushing on the pushing on this right here, which I ain't show you on camera. I'm gonna do it until we get all the air bubbles out. Then we're gonna put our cap back on. Then we're gonna stab it on the stab it on the car and hook the two lines up. Take these off and hook the two lines up. But get all this air out of, out of it and uh, see if we can get this thing on, y'all. 
All right, Woody. This one's for you, Wooden Metal Garage. More brake fluid in there. All right, I'm gonna push the pedal. Y'all tell me if it leaks. <laughs> See it leaking any. I'm gonna pull the cap back off and uh, put 
put some more fluid in it if it needs it. And it did go down a little bit. And we'll add a little bit more to it. So, got the master shoulder on there. We are getting the brake light, which that's normal. We need to bleed out the brakes, but once we do, got some kind of pedal, pedal pumping. <laughs> All right, well, we got the master shoulder on there. Next, we'll have to bleed out the brakes. I do get a little bit of a pedal, and I was able to stop a little bit once I pump it up, uh, which that's better than better than having nothing so hope you liked the video and uh we'll uh we'll catch you on the next one peace